What is Warner High School? When you walk into Warner, it doesn't look like any other school. There are not teachers lecturing to students as they sit in desks with textbooks, pen, and paper in hand. Rather, when you walk into Warner, you see students sitting on couches or on beanbag chairs, working on their laptop computers by collaborating with each other. This truly looks like a new type of high school. In the spring of 2005, a group of educators interested in creating a virtual school met with George Warner, the coordinator of instructional technology for the Sheboygan Area School District. Interest in online learning had grown among educators within the district. However, George had another vision for a high school of excellence, a high school built on rigor, strong relationships between students, parents, and advisors, and a high school that, whose coursework was relevant to the students' lives. A high school that would have a personalized learning plan for each and every student, whose students would be doing online coursework, attending a seminar in 21st century schools, researching an interest of theirs to produce a project called an Encore Project, and attending job shadowing or internships in the workplace to get that real life learning experience. His vision was to find what students love to do and give them the opportunity to do it. As George and I were on a district committee that many years ago before it even got started of just coming up with the idea of what we were going to do for a virtual school. And we went to the school board and we spent you know, a couple years trying to figure it out and the time was not right and it got put on the shelf. Well, George didn't let that stop him. You know, the cool thing is then he went on and got his doctorate and he became more, came back even more determined. So it's really cool to see someone's dream become a reality. You know, so George is a perfect example of you never give up, that you always go for your dreams and your goals. So I'll always, I'll always have that with me, and I can always take that with me. You can see, you know, all kids are different. They all have some strengths, they all have some weaknesses, but we can target our instruction uh, to them, not to simply a group of kids. George's inspiration for our technology area was always think outside the box. I think that was a philosophy he had for many, many years, and he became more vocal about that concept. And then coming up with a logo, that took a lot of effort on many people's parts. And that was really Kate, if I remember correctly. Correctly, Kate yes, went Kate. out and found the penguin. Yes, she did. And then we said, and we yes, all chuckled. Or I penguin. Said, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, because it was different. That was part of his outside the box concept. He had this idea of what school would be like for students, and they would be really engaged and learning what they need to learn, and not the things that they already know, just sitting there waiting for everyone else to catch up or being behind and not being able to catch up. It was meet you where you are and what you're interested in and go from there and, you know, just learn everything you can. And so part of my initial job was to kind of work with online learning and one of the first people that I met in that part of my job was Paula and um, she was very excited about, <laughs> about online learning. I think there was an article in the paper that drew you to call George and he said, why don't you call this Paula and see what she wants to do. And we started working on the online course and then we showed it to the administrators one day and Joe, said, Joe Sheehan said, what can we do to make this happen? And it sort of snowballed from there into we're going to do this charter school and we're going to do it in the next couple of years and we're really going to get this going. And it was a a roller coaster ride, but it was fun. It was fun. So. Do you remember that very first meeting when we all met up here with George? Yes. And we were all sitting around the table, and he was asking us, "What do you think this school should be like? What do you?" And he didn't say any of his ideas, but somehow we got 
as we threw our ideas out, it all kind of formed itself into the vision that he had. And it was so neat to see him sparkle as we put together what he was envisioning. It was, it was really powerful because we all contributed to it, but it was his... It was his vision, but somehow he fed it to us in a way that made it grow within the group, and it was really, it was incredible. The, the Big Picture School uh, was a great, was a powerful inspiration for for George, and then for those of us that went to visit, um, they just really captured the um, the passion of students and um, teach the basic skills through a passion that a student has and so we brought that element into our high school and I think we still have you know work to do on that because it's incredibly time time intensive and and people intensive and work intensive to do that but um, I think that was it was sort of magical that and I think that's how George was already thinking and then when he found out about the big picture school and how they were doing things he was like this is what I want to do except I also want to have the online part and so it was it was it's a really new and exciting concept to have that technology and that personalization and that passion for whatever a student has just all built together into a learning experience and I'm so proud to have been a part of of this wonderful school that um, just really does it right you know you care about kids and therefore the kids care about their learning and I think it's it's fantastic and I know George is proud as well. Students at Warner have a great opportunity to do internships. Um, we provide a, flex a flexible schedule for them so that they can be available when businesses and local community organizations can um, best use them. And really the focus of internships is authentic assessment um, and learning that gives them a chance to explore careers and opportunities that they might be interested in um, when they graduate from Warner. So really we're trying to give them a plan going forth once they leave and graduate our high school. Thank you. Here along with our personal learning plan, the parents are always included in what goes on with their child or students. They're involved in the decisions of classes they take, where they want to head in the future. Going on a vacation, you can work ahead, maybe let's say you're going on a week vacation, you can work ahead a week so you don't have to worry about if you were going to regular school, you'd have to come back and you just have mountains of homework sitting on your desk ready for you to take up all of your social time. So it really works out well in all aspects of it. George Warner really is the hybrid school. It basically is something that interests you, but covers a lot of academic bases at the same time, so you can have fun learning about something that you want to while getting actual school credit. Face to Face Charter High School opened in the fall of 2007 with 23 students. It expanded to an enrollment of 74 by the spring of 2009. George's vision is the mission and the vision of our high school, the George D. Warner High School for Personalized Learning. We are